Hey everyone, thanks a lot for joining. This week I want to talk about how you can just pick up your horn and get it to start singing for you. But before I do, please take a look in the links below where I got some interesting uh, information. If you're interested in, you know, learning how to play in the upper register a little more easily or with a better sound, and uh, if you're interested in what it's like sitting next to me in a Broadway musical. <laughs> Okay, so uh, I've got a little recording here from a, a, a function I was recently attending where a friend of mine wanted to help repair my trumpet or at least check check out my instrument on the spot in front of in front of uh, you know twenty of my dear friends who are all a part of the All American College Orchestra, and so he was doing it and tinkering with it, and then he said, "Okay." Here you go. Of course, you got to play it. You got to play test it. So you don't just whip the thing up, and there you go. And you know, it's like there there is a, a way to be able to just make that instrument sing right off the bat. <laughs> Okay, so there you go. So we're all having fun and everything, and you know it was a it was a a fun party to be a part of. But the main thing is, you know, you still like you pick up the horn, and if you can make the air going through, just kind of like as if it's a river that doesn't stop. You know, when you see the river moving, think of your air being like a river, and even if there's a boulder or a rock in the river or the stream or whatever the water moves right by it and that's what your air has to be like when you're playing you don't let up you don't stop it all goes out and i'm not talking about pushing it out or forcing it out or trying to play faster air and whatever i'm just talking about letting it out kind of like as if you're filled up like a balloon and then you let the top of the balloon go that's letting the air out and you let it out but it has to move and not stop or back off. It has to continue moving forward. And by the way, the one thing that helps it greatly is if you're singing in your mind while you're playing. Whatever it might be, ah, my teacher Bill Adam would have us do that singing a lot. And we were, were to not let up on the singing so as to keep a bit of a lean in in our singing, which will transfer into the instrument, which will be desirable for you because you'll have far better endurance when the air is moving through the sound. So in any case, I hope that will help you a little bit. And uh, please leave a comment down below if you have any questions. Thanks so much.